Hey guys, thanks for joining. I've got a little bit of a cold, so please bear with me, but I just wanted to give you a quick little glimpse into something I've been working on, and that is the tutorial prompts or hints that you'll see when you first start Spookville and you encounter a new mechanic that we've introduced. So let me show you what that looks like real quick. We have this nice little question mark that has a collider to it, and when you collide with that trigger, it's going to show the prompt. So let me do that real quick. There we go. So this first one, player input, has a little breakdown based on what kind of controller you're using. Leaving that, that's the very Looks first like one. Mom needs something. Leaving the uh, collision box will then trigger off uh, several events. In this case, I started the first mission. So this is kind of the very first introduction into Spookville. The day-night cycle is a little bit fast, still tweaking that. But now you can see that our objective is to talk to the mom character. And there is a second tent up here. So let's check that out. Okay, this is the cabin. The cabin is your safe place. Be sure to come to the cabin before nightfall or you may encounter some unfriendly enemies. Come here to restock on health items and ammo. So kind of giving you a glimpse into what some of the gameplay is going to be like. Yeah, after leaving the collision box, it'll destroy itself after a second. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the tutorial hints? Is it too much? Not enough? Comment below. Let me know. Okay, so now that you have seen the tutorial prompt in action, let's take a look at how I created this. Uh, inside of the UI manager or the user interface, I created a panel that has animator component and an audio source. So I can play that little click effect whenever you interact with it. And it's broken down into a couple different sub panels, including the text that displays. This is going to be the information that displays down here. The tutorial title, which is the title up here. The info icon is just the little question mark with a circle around it, just to give it a little bit of flair. And then the tutorial image has an image component in there that I can assign a sprite so that each tutorial hint will have a little bit of background into what it's displaying. This is invoked again by the question mark that has a box collider attached to it. And I do a simple assign. So it has a reference back to this message panel for display, which will play the animation from the animator component. And then I just literally copy over the different properties for each one of the fields that display inside of the panel. So over here is the text to show. This is what shows at the bottom of the panel. This is where I can be a little bit more verbose in, in my text to inform the player what what's going on the sprite to show is the image that shows inside of the panel title is the title i have a, a flag here for should destroy after read and right now i have it configurable as a a property that might differ between what tutorial prompt we're looking at but it's going to be overridden by the setting in the the menu on exit event is what gets fired off after the player leaves the collision area and in this case this is what actually starts the first mission in Spookville of talking to the mom character. I have a couple properties here for just finding the UI elements and what tag the prompt should show on so that's the player. I just do a simple tag comparison in the script and then I just copy over these values over into the panel in the UI and it shows. The system is very easy to kind of follow along it and create yourself. However, if you'd like to see a more in-depth video on how to wire up those collision events, including the enter and exit, uh, and then the design and implementation of the UI panels, let me know. Uh, I'll create a follow-up on exactly what occurs or what that code looks like, what design decisions were made to make it most efficient and look the best. Little design decisions to spend time on like these tutorial prompts may seem small and insignificant but they add that little bit of polish that AAA games have that sometimes indies skip out on and your player is left wondering what to do. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.